whatever it is you are trying to build, if you won't sacrifice for it, if you won't be hungry for it, you don't have the right to get it until you will stay up at night and read and work and pray to get to be whoever it is you are trying to be. You have not got the right. If success ain't free. They ain't passing out money, man. Anybody sending none to your house, you got to go get it. That is you. That no one can do it for you but you. You must understand that. Being successful is not an accident. You know what I can't stand when I hear Christians say, if it was the Lord's will, I would have had some money by now. No, no, no. You can't dump that on God. Don't dump that on him. Look at somebody say, it'll work if you work it. What is your goal and how much what will you put into it in order to get what you're trying to get from God? How much? I've been wondering why it didn't happen. Nobody ever taught me how much it costs. Greatness is expensive and it doesn't happen overnight for most people. Yes, there are one or two people. The rest of us have to work it. God got a great life for you, man, but you got to want something. What you waiting on? Write it down. Put some faith on it. And then get ready to go to work. He said faith without works is dead. Every discouraged person, every person who's been feeling like it's just not working, this was your message. This was your message. You think you can wish your way up. You cannot wish your way up. It will work if you work it. Here's why activity is so important. It finally produces the miracle of reality. Yes, we need to be architects for the future, but the architect needs the bricklayer. Unless somebody is willing to lay bricks, then the entity is never accomplished. No matter how smart you are, nothing much happens in terms of results until you put it into action. So get going. The dreams God has placed in your heart are not going to come to pass without delays, without people trying to talk you out of it. But if you're going to reach your destiny, you have to have a made-up mind. There should be something you're believing for that you are relentless. Your attitude is, if I have to believe my whole life, I'm not going to stop believing. I'm not going to settle for mediocrity. I'm going to keep pursuing what God put in my heart. It's more than just your will. It's a fire on the inside, a knowing that it's supposed to be yours. Normal people would give up, but you're not normal. You want it on another level. I am not quitting. I am not settling for mediocrity. I'm going to become who God says I am. How bad do you want what God has put in your heart? Bad enough to outlast the opposition? Do you want it bad enough to keep pursuing even when circumstances say it's not going to happen. If you're overcome by problems, you let people talk you out of it, you're not going to have the strength to sustain where God is taking you. Don't have a weak mentality, have a warrior mentality. You have to dig your heels in and say, I am in this for the long haul. I will accomplish my dream. I will meet the right person. You're not moved by what's not working out or by who's not for you, you know who is for you, the Most High God. If you're going to see what you're believing for, you have to be willing to do what other people won't do. Other people may settle where they are. Well, I put in three applications. All three companies turned me down. Well, I dated two girls. Both of them told me I wasn't their type. When the odds are against you, you have to want it on a new level. How bad do you want that promotion? Bad enough to get to work early? Bad enough to do more than what's required? I don't want to take another course. I don't want more work. I just want the promotion. You don't want it bad enough. There are new levels in front of us, but much of it depends on how bad we want it. God is not going to do everything for us. We have to do our part. I don't have any energy. God, I'm always so tired. Are you eating right? Are you exercising? Do you want to get well bad enough to not drink 43 colas a day and sleep three hours a night? When he's doing all you can, then he'll make things happen that you can. Life is flying by. We don't get a do-over. This is it. You're destined to leave your mark. 
You weren't created to fit in. Now do your part and distinguish yourself. Be willing to do what others won't do. One of the saddest things is to come to the end of life and wonder what I could have become. You don't have to wonder. You can start right now. All of us are six inches from success. Don't allow the odds to discourage you. Most people accept the life that they have been given. This life that was working a job that was not just to pay the bills. I didn't like, but at the same time, I didn't want to get fired. I was so sick of myself. I was so bored in my life, man. I was so tired of being mediocre. I was losing my mind, man. Going door to door selling life insurance at a debit company. You ever say to yourself, man, it's got to be more to my life than this? If you've ever said that, that's cause it is. There's a part of you that's waiting for you to come saying, come, come, I'm waiting for you. Make some decisions. So that you can live your authentic life. So that you can step out of a job that's not you. You were not born to live a boring life. Come on. If normal is getting on your nerves, then you got to change something. See, once you commit yourself, the how will come. Most people are just satisfied to where they are. 87% of people go to jobs that they hate. People say life is short. No, life isn't short. It's just too many people take too long to start living. I wasted a lot of valuable time with a, a lot of people who really didn't deserve to be in my life. You want to get around the right people. You want to be intentional at creating special moments. You want to be intentional in taking care of yourself. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. It's not what you don't is what you think you need that keeps you from being successful. And you may have some good enough areas in your life, but don't stop there. Keep believing for the fullness of what God promised. God has some of these who would have ever thought blessings come in your way. Thoughts will tell you all the reasons why it's not going to happen for you. You're too old. You don't have the talent, the resources. None of that stops our God. Were you thinking life was going to be rosy? When you gave everything to God, He takes control of everything and began to build you into the super strong person you ought to be. You cannot talk about becoming that great person without the training and you going through the building process. Don't ever think it is going to be sweet all the time. There are times God allows you to go through the pain. Most times, the Lord allows some things to happen to you, to ensure you are growing through them. You might not know when and why the Lord is doing this, but the Lord is making you into somebody that is going to come out with a great substance later, and you are going to appreciate the pains and the trying times that have built you and strengthened you into a better person. The reason you do not want to go through the pain is just that your body does not want you to go far. Do you know that most times, the weakness and the fragility of the body responds harshly when you expose it to a condition that is not favorable or a situation that it is not used to? The adaptive power of the flesh goes slowly to accept the new condition. But when you are not consistent enough to remain in the process, that is when you will quit and think these processes are very dangerous to your body. The life ahead of you needs you to subject the body to some conditions that will enable you to go through the test and come out with a great substance. In your school, you cannot say you want to pass the examination without studying harder than you have always done. Going into that extra study, which is outside the usual reading exercise you have always done, will always show you the limit your body can take when it comes to its capacity. But you know what you are pursuing, and you know it is by studying hard and ignoring the pains of the body, and doing that which will give you the result you have always wanted to have. That is what God wants to take you through. 
but your body will always tell you that it is impossible. Do you know that whenever you want to do something great for yourself, and your body is trying to stop you from doing it, that means your body is telling you that there is a limit to what you are going to get for yourself. But you know what you are going for. You know the height you are aiming at. It is left for you to ignore the voice of the pain of your body. It's in your hands to ignore the voice of the limitation of the flesh that is trying to make you stop what you want to do. That is the same power God wants you to conquer first before giving you that blessing. This is the reason God allows you to go through the tough time. Most tough times might not come in ways you have been taught it to be. There are lots of ways God allows you to learn and build yourself for the future ahead of you. Your success story cannot be inspiring without you going through some tough times that has helped you sharpen your knowledge and understanding about your life and your purpose. Once you give God the chance to take over your life, He becomes the master planner of everything that happens to you. God cannot continue to give you the sweet without a test. The tough times prepare you for the blessings coming to your ways. Everything is set for you to inherit. But the kind of mind you are carding now may not help you to get to that blessing right. The attitude you are showing towards things now may not help you sustain the success for the lasting time. So, God will look for ways to take away those things that will not help you succeed by putting you through the times where everything that is happening to you becomes hard and works against you. Do you know that when God wants to show you the bad and the good friends in your life, He makes you run into some kind of bad situation that will make you know those friends that will always be with you in a tough time and those that deserve to stay in your life when you begin to see the light of God's blessings and uplifting. Sometimes it may seem that every friend you have are not worthy of your life and God wants you to let go of them. Then God puts you through some hard times where you will really need some friends to help, but none will come to your aid. That is God showing you that the people you call friends are not your friends, and God wants you to let them out of your life so you will have the space to accommodate the friends that will help you succeed and those that will talk you and help you to achieve God's plans for your life. These are reasons God may allow you to go through the tough time so that when all is perfectly done, then you will begin to see God work in your life. Your light will begin to shine. Your idea will begin to sell. You will do little things, but they will become great things. It is not that God cannot just bless you or lift you, but God knows the thoughts of your heart. God knows the motives and the capacity of your mind. God knows there is always a need for you to be built. There are things you have, you have not learned easily. When the opportunity was given to you, but now, that blessing of God is inevitable to you. You have to learn them, and the only ways to learn them is to allow you to go through some waiting time. The tough time and the hard times are God's way of preparing and teaching you the wisdom and the knowledge that will help you become great that you want to be. God knows that you are a mortal being. God has a way to beat the body of human into agreeing into the proposal of success and destiny. The devil would not want you to do well. The devil uses the body to keep you away from the dreams and your pursuit in life. You want to do something, but your body will always tell you you cannot do it. But your desires and the Spirit of God wants you to do it because you can do it. Can you see our Lord Jesus Christ? We never heard anything about Him until the time He was born. Though the Bible told us that He has been in existence from the beginning, but we have not heard anything about Him until the New Testament era. The question is this, before coming, does He have the power? Why have we not heard about Him? 
Now, our Lord is the Son of God, and He is God too. But there was a life, there was a power, that He deserves to have for Him to be glorified. He came to die for man, and He went to hell and collected the keys and the power of life from the devil. Now listen to this, Revelations 5.12, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and the riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. Remember, Jesus Christ was God from the beginning, but when He was slain before, He got these things. There was a tough time that He went through to get this power and glory. That is the system of God to you. David did not offend King Saul for once, but when he was anointed king by Samuel, David went through so many torture and hard times from Saul. The thing made him strong, better, and on many occasions, he had the opportunity to kill King Saul. But David said, He will not kill the Lord's anointed. These were the tough times that made him who he became. You must know that everything God does is always perfect. If He always wants you to go through the pain, then there are beneficial reasons that has made Him allow that to happen to you. You have to follow God with understanding and know that there are not ways He can let you go through a situation that will break you and make you into something lesser to what He wants you to become. The only person that can stop you is yourself. You do not run away from the processes that will bring you out with great substance. You are made of greatness. There are lots of potential in you that you need to develop. God is giving you the future you have been asking for. When God decides to build you, that means He is ready to bless you. Do you not know that you have maximum security from God? But when God allows you to be attacked by some hard and difficult situation, then just know it too well that He is up to something better. You cannot get it if you do not go through the process. The process is the tough time. The tough time is not meant to last long. But the effect of the tough time in your life is that it makes you last longer in the exploit you are doing. It is never like God to abandon you. It is never in the plan of God to bring you out and let go of you. God is always ready and super powerful to help you come out stronger and better. You become a hero when you win. You become a champion when you grow and beat other capacities. Your life becomes great when you are fulfilling the will of God for your life. And the best ways to fulfill it is to allow God to mold you into that structure that He wants you to be. There is a capacity He wants your mind to reach before He will give you that idea. And the best way to enlarge your capacity is to stretch it through some situation that is unpleasant, but doing the great work in you. The blessings are in you. The ideas that will bring the world to your feet is always in you, but you have not discovered it. Lots of signals from the Lord, but you are not paying that great attention to it. If that great life is sure, then the tough time is more sure. If that blessing that will come to you in the overflowing and abundance is inevitable then, the trials have become inevitable. It's easy to go into a hidden life, insecure feelings not valuable. Don't believe those lies. You are made in the made of Almighty God's people. Cannot make you feel inferior unless you give them permissions. They don't determine your worth and value. What they say, how they treat you doesn't change 
who God made you to be. Now quite giving them permission. Don't quite worry, most obstacles we face are here to test your character. Not to stop a joint wouldn't perhaps the greatest college basketball coach in the history of the world. He has won 12 championships, 11 of which were consecutive titles. The true personifications of success both on and off the court he won 16 years without winning anything. Now think about that 16 years and no title than 12 years.